Hello everybody. Today we are going to be working on a customer's Gary Fisher RS1. Uh, this bike is really important to them and unfortunately it has some damage on the rear dropout. Um, a stick got tossed up and ripped the derailleur out of the dropout and um, that damaged the threads. Um, someone tried to fix it along the way and ended up doing a little bit more harm than good. Um, and they brought it into us and luckily we have another frame that we're going to be able to get the dropout for off of so we can get this one back up and rolling because this means a lot this bike means a lot to them so we want to make sure we can get them riding so what we have going on as i mentioned we have a gary fisher rs1 with the mert law will rear suspension it's a pretty cool bike it also has the Pro Stop rear disc brake. Cool thing about these, are these are floating discs. So you'll see that this disc rotor can move on these little bushings. Um, so that's pretty. That's a pretty cool thing. Um, has the Campy rear hub. It actually has the Campy rear railer also. It got a little damaged in the incident um so they had put in different pulleys that needed to be spaced out weird these are shimano pulleys we're going to track down some correct campy pulleys to put back in this and we're going to get this thing back together so we can get that on the bike but first the main reason we're here it's in is this rear dropout the threads got ripped out and then, um, I don't know if we can get a good angle on it. It got drilled out in the back. Um, so instead of trying to put in, to drill it out and put in the, uh, I think Problem Solvers makes a little piece you can put in the back. Because they drilled it on the back, um, it'll be easier for me to show you when I take it off. But because of that, we have this donor frame that um has been laying around the shop we the headset went to somebody else that needed it and the paint was in pretty bad condition so it's just been kind of laying around but we have the piece so we are going to unbolt this rear dropout and we're going to bolt it onto that bike so that we can get this bike back up and running um it's really cool this um this is a cool thing about this bike so this is a decal sticker of Gary Fisher's signature. This is Gary Fisher's signature. There's some glare there, but the, the owner of this bike's friend was the original owner and knew Gary and got it signed by him. So we're gonna, we're gonna get this thing going. I also need to rebuild the fork. That's gonna be a different video. Um, I have the fork off that bike. We're going to use the two forks to make one working fork. Um, but that'll be a, a different video. But it, it, another cool point, I mean, it has the campy shifters, the campy front hub. So we're going to get this thing up and running. Uh, our first step, take that rear wheel off, unbolt the dropout, unbolt the dropout from the frame, bolt it on, get it all backed up together, get the rear derailleur fixed, get that on here get this all shifting and that'll be as far as we go today on this project and then we'll have another video of rebuilding the fork so let's get started on this the back of this bike so this is a bolt on axle there's one on both sides that another reason why the other frame is kind of dead is we don't have those bolts or anything so it's without the proprietary parts this frame really is just a parts frame so that's why it's working good for us here 
bolts holding the dropout in are four mil. The screws came out, but we still have this piece um, that goes through, kind of pull out a bushing maybe, that goes through both pieces. So we're just going to use the five mil now and they'll slide out. So we have the top one. Oh, the bottom one doesn't want to come out. The bottom one doesn't want to come out, so we're just going to thread that bolt in a little bit. We want to engage a good amount of threads because we're just going to give it a little, little tap. hammer we have because for some reason the hammers are missing there we go so now we can take this screw back out okay now this piece comes out just like that now so you see what I said is they started to drill it out so I just um, the material is gonna be thinner I'm worried about that adapter fitting in there nicely so that's why we are doing the we're doing the switch so we got this old one out now let's go take the one off on the other frame and let's get this piece put in. This one has been fiddled before because that top bolt is a little stripped. So we're gonna have to get that up. This bottom one came out nice and we were able to get the bushing piece up. With the bolt stripped out and in there pretty tight, we're gonna get the Dremel and we're gonna drill we're gonna cut the big old grooves. We can get a screwdriver in there. And um, the heat from the Dremel, the vibration from the Dremel, and you know, a big groove. Hopefully we'll be able to turn that uh, out. So let me go get the tools we're gonna need. Grind it in so we can put in the screwdriver. It's all warm from the Dremel. Always make sure to wear your earmuffs and goggles when using a Dremel. Lots of sparks. So we're going to get the screwdriver out and we're going to see if we can give that a turn. tight so before we damage the groove that I put in we're gonna get out some free all seems to work really good but open to hear what uh, penetrating oils y'all use we're gonna tip this thing up on its sides, very much penetrating oil in here, and we're gonna let it soak while we go find the parts for the Campy Rear Derailleur. This is how it's set up, we have a nice little pool. We have a bunch in there, we're gonna let that soak. Now we do that, we're gonna tinker on this. So the situation we have going with this campy rear derailleur, first we want to make sure we have all the pieces. We have the bolt and the, have the spring tensioner. I think that is everything. The big issue is that we have Shimano, 
Um, trailer pulleys. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go onto Velo Base and I'm gonna look up this derailleur and see what the derailleur pulleys look like. Then we're gonna go downstairs into our bin of broken derailleurs and we're gonna sort through and see if we can find some campy pulleys that are meant to be on here. Okay, so we're down here in the bin of broken-ish campy derailleurs and white pulleys were what were on his bike it had, that's a centaur and so we're gonna see if these white pulleys off of this derailleur are gonna work otherwise we also have black pulleys campy pulleys off of this derailleur so we're gonna bring both of these upstairs with us and uh, see. Yeah, I bought a load of broken campy parts from a guy and I've just been using them to fix and repair other derailleurs, but I need to spend some actual time sorting and trying to get them together. But it turns out there's never enough time in the day. I just, I don't know where the day goes, but we're gonna get this project put together with one of these hopefully these white ones so here's our derailleur pieces here's our two derailleurs we're gonna try to these white ones first so we're just gonna need to get some tools so we can take these apart yeah so these are Shimano pulleys and they were all shinned up a bunch of washers to fit so the campy pulleys are much thicker so I don't think we'll have to rely on any shims should be perfect I like to just take one pulley off at a time mostly just so I don't Get them goofed up, you know, put the wrong pulley in the wrong spot. Oh yeah, these are gonna be perfect. Now we'll do the same with the rear. Those are nice pulleys though. So we will make sure to bag up those Shimano pulleys because those are new. Now these washers, you never know when you're gonna need washers. We'll put this bolt back in. Try to keep as many of the small parts together as possible. the original bolt on this one but we have the original bolt from the other one so it's okay Look at that, we now have campy derailleur with the right pulleys. Which 
Make sure these are tight. You don't want your pulleys to fall off when you're riding. So now we need to put all the pieces back in so the derailleur works. Getting this little clip off, we're probably gonna need a little screwdriver. Just put a little screwdriver in there and pop that out. Drop that in. And find the hole. Then we'll take this. And we need to get this tab behind here. So this is this is the the trickier part of this whole operation. A, tr a trick that I find easy to help get these um, set is I put an Allen wrench in the vise. That kind of holds the derailleur. And then I always want to be kind of pressing down on the derailleur so it's on that bolt. Bolts all the way in. And then take our pliers. And once we get this pivoted around where we need it to be. We just need to get it in there. Now we have it in there. Voila. So, Allen wrench in the vise holds the derailleur, so you can press in on the derailleur, which keeps the bolt all the way in. Pliers on the B-tension screw, pull it around, push it in, get your clip in. Now we'll re put in our taking the pulley out, just gives you a little bit more room to operate um, with your fingers. It's not needed, but it does make it easier. Now, our derailleur is all back to normal. So we can go put this on the bike. But first, we gotta hope that bolt comes out. So we've had this soaking with penetrating oil while we worked on the rear derailleur. So we're gonna see if... Oh! I'm gonna go get a bigger, I'm gonna go get a bigger speed player. We have a game plan change. Bolt doesn't wanna come out, even with the groove in it and a screwdriver and letting it soak for a few hours. Um, I have a lot of things to do this week and I wanna get this project, this portion of this project knocked out. So we're just gonna use the Dremel, the Dremel ahead of this bolt off and then we'll just be able to knock it out um, the other side. Because there's only a small hole here and there's a big hole on the bottom. So if we get the head of the bolt off, we'll be able to punch it through. And we have spares of these, um, of the inner piece. So this will work.
Okay. Ground off the top of the head. Gave it a few taps with the ball peen hammer. And then a quick twist of a screwdriver. And we got it out. Looks like that. So that was the quick and dirty way to do it. You know, honestly, this rear triangle will be totally fine. A little bit of sanding. I nicked it a little bit, but mostly just took the finish off. So the rear triangle will be fine to save. And we got the piece we need. So we're gonna get this all cleaned up. We're gonna get it put on the other bike. Okay. We are all wiped out. And we have these pieces. So this goes in here like so. We're gonna apply a little bit of grease to these. It's metal on metal. Second one slid in. That one pressed all the way in, and voila. Now we're going to tighten these up, install the derailleur, and then we can get the chain installed, the rear wheel, and we can get this thing ready to go. Okay, got the rear derailleur on and rebuilt, the dropout on. It's the chains back on, it's tuned, it's shifting. Um, so that is the back half of this RS1 completed. We're gonna tackle the shock later this week if I have time. I have a few other shocks in front of it, but I wanted to get this done today so I could go give this thing a ride to see how everything else is working and to really just kind of feel the, the shock myself to see how bad it is. So that's a wrap on the rear end of this project. Uh, thanks for watching this video as we redid the rear dropout on this Gary Fisher RS1. And that's half of this project. The next video that will come out on this bike will be working on the fork. They're hard to get parts for, so we're going to kind of take two, two apart and make one function as best we can. Um, but it shifts and it pedals now. We got the rear derailleur put back on, so that is a big win in my book. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It means a lot. Check out all our other videos. Tons of videos on vintage mountain bikes. Also check out our shop, um, Grinninger Cycles, for all your vintage mountain bike needs. We have tons of parts um, for your vintage mountain bikes and your vintage road bikes. Um, there'll be a link below. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Bye.